So are you tired of missing out on sales just because you can't accept M-Pesa or card payments? Well, look no further. Our easy to use WordPress plugin will allow you guys to be able to accept payments from customers without the need for a till or pay bill number. Yes, you had me right. Simply install the plugin on your WordPress website and follow the prompts that we are going to show you to set up the payment gateway. Now you'll be able to accept M-Pesa and card payments in no time. With our plugin first, you'll be able to accept payments directly from your website without having to redirect customers to an external page. Actually process uh, transactions with industry standard encryption, track and manage your sales uh, from your WooCommerce dashboard, and you will also offer a seamless payment experience to your customers, which will be increasing uh, the likelihood of repeat business. So don't let the lack of a till or pay bill number hold you back any longer. Start accepting m and card payments on your website today with this plugin. Let's get started. So this is the website that uh, we're going to test this on. This is some um, cosmetics website uh, that I'm building out. Uh, it will be for the next tutorial since I've realized uh, that your girlfriends are not watching uh, such tutorials since I was looking at this analytics and I realized uh, that 70, 79% uh, of you are just viewing, I haven't subscribed and your girlfriends are not watching at all. 6% of your girlfriends are watching this content. So that's why I decided I will make this beauty store uh, where we'll be actually selling this uh, such kind of cosmetics and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and test this out. Uh, straight up. So let me just click on shop. So uh, the product we'll be using to test is this skin whitening toner. So if I click on this, uh, okay, so I'll be second to this single product page, which is so satisfying to look at. I mean, tell me if this would generate sales. You can't. So let me just click add to cart. Okay. And so yeah, it has been added to the cart. So I can just go ahead and view it and check out directly. Okay, so this information has been auto-populated for me uh, because I've already been on this checkout page before, but you'll have to uh, fill in some of these important details like the town, uh, uh, the city, the phone number, and of course uh, your county so that uh, it will be simpler during delivery of whatever product. Uh, is being shipped. So as you can see, pay with m -Pesa or card. So if I click place order, I am taken to this secure checkout page, which is encrypted uh, with industry standards encryption. And you also get uh, this badge that uh, shows your customers that they should trust uh, this particular uh, checkout because it is safe and secure. So let's go ahead and first start by testing uh, the m -Pesa payment. So when you click pay now, you get the option to either pay with M-Pesa or card. So uh, if I click pay with M-Pesa, I can now put in uh, that phone number and pay. So for this one, the first one I'm going to cancel to show you how real time this is. So there's the SDK push, but I'm going to cancel it. So as you can see, request canceled uh, by user. So I never leave this page. As long as I don't complete this payment, I never leave this page. Uh, but let's just go ahead and now complete this one. So pay with M-Pesa. Same, same drill. Uh, hit pay. So I do get an SDK push one more time. So yeah, there it is. And this time I complete. So I've, I've received that message and automatically once you pay, you will be redirected to the checkout page where you can actually see that you have uh, successfully uh, made this order, payment method paid with m -Pesa or card. And if I head back to my WooCommerce and click on orders, I'll be able to actually uh, be able to view and manage this. So as you can see, the order, if you cancel an order, it is actually put on hold. But if you if you complete it, uh, it's actually put on processing, which is contrary 
to what you guys believe. Because you are actually shipping physical products, it is put on processing so that once you have delivered it, uh, that is when it is changed to completed. So as you can see, you have order notes. It was on hold. Then it was changed to pending payment. Uh, then from on hold, it was changed to processing once the order was paid. So you can actually see uh, the invoice ID and PESA completed at such and such a time. So perfect. Now let's go back and test this out with a card. So let me head back to the home page. So we're back at the home page. So I'll just head back to the shop where I'll get the same product we were using, the skin whitening toner. Don't understand what this even means, but okay. So let me add this to cuts. <laughs> the things this gender buys. <laughs> So it's already in the card. So let me just click on that. And of course, let's just check out. So this time we'll be paying using the card payments to see if it actually processes the card. So I think I do have a few points on this card so we can go ahead and use this. So place order. So safe checkouts as always. Then once I hit on pay now, uh, of course, I'll be using my Visa card. So of course, I'll blur this. I know you guys too sneaky. Although I'll blur this later on. But this is just to test uh, this particular checkout. Of course, uh, put the expiry. And the CVV or CVC, whatever it, it is called. Yeah, so let me just initiate this payment. So started card processing. Preparing authorization. Also, of course, it will authorize depending on whichever bank. I'm using Stanbic, so I should get an OTP either to my phone or to my email. So let me just choose email and click on submit. So uh, I should have received an OTP. Yep, so I have received it. So let me just enter that. So once again, uh, once this is actually successful, I'll be redirected to the checkout page. So let's just give that a second. Okay, I have received other notification from my bank. And voila, thank you, your order has been received. And of course, mm -hmm. as always, we can always see this from the order section. So I know what you're asking. So where is this, where are these funds actually, and where can I withdraw them? So there will be, you will have such a dashboard where you'll be able to receive your payments and you will be able to withdraw to whichever uh, settlement account you choose. So you can choose to withdraw uh, to your bank, to your M-Pesa number, to your pay bill, to your till, whichever method you choose to, to cash out your, your payments, that's all on you. Um, hopefully this will allow you guys to, to find value, scale your business by receiving mobile and card payments directly go down the link will be down in the description get this and start uh, scaling your business uh, right now don't worry we will offer support uh, for guys who have purchased so we'll help you set up your entire account and to get started using uh, this particular plugin teaser, the teaser for the next uh, video is uh, you've already seen that particular wordpress website that's the one we're going to be building and the mental outlaw is preparing some good react native content mm. yeah 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 so definitely if you haven't hit that bell hit that bell so you never miss out on any updates yeah that was it for this one peace out